If you've been using Excel for any time at all, you're probably familiar with how easily you can use the sum function to total a range of cells. You just choose the location, click the auto sum button, select the range of cells, and you're done. But you may not know that that range of cells doesn't have to be limited to cells within one tab of your workbook. It can span multiple tabs. Here we have a spreadsheet listing sales by branch and product and by month. Each tab of our workbook has a different month on it. So on sheet 4 we want to total up the months. Now you could go here to the cell where you want your total to appear, type a plus, go to sheet 1, select the cell, plus, go to the next sheet, select the cell, plus, the next sheet, select the cell, and hit enter, and you'd have a total. But there's a much easier way to do it, especially if you're if you're spanning a lot of a lot of tabs on your worksheet. So we'll delete that. Now I'm going to come up here and click on the auto sum button, just like I did before. And then we'll go to sheet one, but we don't select a cell yet. Now you hold down the shift key on your keyboard and select the last tab that you want included in your range. Then you can let go of the shift key and you'll see that all of the tabs are highlighted. Now just click on the cell, or it could be multiple cells, that you want to add up. I'll click the check mark, or it could hit the enter key, and that completes the formula. So you can see now we have the same total as we did before, but we have this formula up here. It says equals sum to sheet 1 to sheet 3, cell B2. So all the B2s across sheets 1 through sheet 3 get totaled up in this formula. Now this formula can be copied just like any other formula could be. You can copy it to the right, you can fill it down, and the cell being totaled will automatically be adjusted for you. Now one thing you should be aware of is that the range of sheets here, where it says sheet 1 to sheet 3, that's talking about how they're actually arranged in your workbook. Um, it doesn't matter really what the sheet numbers or names are. If I were to take sheet 2 and move it to the right of sheet 4, all my totals would change. If I drag it back so that it's between 1 and 3, now my totals come back to what they were. And I could even rename this sheet and it wouldn't affect my totals at all as long as it's between sheets 1 and 3.